guys, it's Amy with a to Z stamping.com. Today I was going to show you how to make a card using the Oh So Succulent stamp set. This stamp set is on the discontinued list, so it's only available while supplies last. And I know that it is marked way down right now, so it's a good time to pick this up. It's also a good time to pick up the framelits that go with it. I'm not going to be showing you uh, these with this particular card, but these are also marked way down, so it's a great time to pick these up. They work really well together. All right, this stamp set does have um, a lot of flowers on it. It's two-step stamping, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But it does have some fun sentiments on it. It says, uh, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Birthday to a Very Special Person, Because of You, I Am Me, and the best love story is the one you write together. So really sweet. All right, so let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is our stamping. And we're gonna be using Sweet Sugar Plum here, which is one of the 2017 to 2019 ink, or no, 2016 to 2018 in color. So we have this color for one more year. All right, so I need a scrap piece of paper paper let's see what am I doing of white so this is just a scrap piece of whisper white cardstock and I'm going to be stamping this flower right here all right so with two-step stamping uh, that means you would stamp a base first and then you would stamp a top to it so first thing I'm going to do is ink up my base and I want it to be a little bit lighter um, than the top stamp so I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp on my paper. All right. Oh, you know what? This is not coming out very well because a lot of times with these photopolymer stamps, they don't, the entire stamp sometimes doesn't touch down on the paper. So you need um, like a foam mat to go under it. This is our uh, Stampin' Up. I believe this is the piercing mat. But you need something like this. And then these photopolymer stamps will um, adhere better. Um, You'll get you'll bet you'll get better coverage with your ink. All right, so let's see here. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't stamp off though. Let's try that one more time. Third time is going to be a charm. All right, stamp off and stamp. Perfect. All right, see I have much better coverage there. All right, so I will want to grab my stamp and scrub. Again, with the stamp and scrub, one side's wet, one side's dry. We do have some um, a spray that you spray on there. Uh, then you just scrub, dry, and my stamp is clean and ready to put away. So simple and easy. I know a lot of people like to use the baby wipes and all that. I find that to be too big of a hassle and expensive. This is much easier. All right, now I'm going to take this stamp right here and do the top. So let me ink it up. All right, and I need to match it up. That's probably gonna be the hardest part, is matching it up. Let's see, it looks like it goes this way. Line it up, oh, I'm not doing that one, I'm doing this one. All right, line it up, and stamp. There we go, perfect. So you see how um, by stamping off the first time, I have a lighter color, and then when I do the top, it's darker. All right, again, clean my stamp. And that's clean, and I can put it away. All right. That, oh, we now we need to stamp our sentiment. I'm going to do the Happy Mother's Day right here. And I need a, I'm going to use the G block. Let's see, it looks like it fits on there. Perfect. All right, ink it up. And stamp. Let's see. Perfect. Clean that off. And now I can put my stamps away. Done with that. Okay. Set my stamps aside. Put my ink away so I'm not sticking my arms in it. I have done that before, so trust me, it's always smart to close up your inks and put them away. All right. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut these out um, using our Big Shot. Put my piercing mat away. So let me grab my Big Shot. All right, so I'm going to be cutting both these things out. So 
I, right now I'm going to be using the Bunch of Banners Framelits dies. I'm going to use um, this framelit. I want to use this one right here to cut this out. And I'm using the magnetic platform underneath. And so these just stick right to it since it's a magnet. And I'm also going to be using the Stitched Shapes Framelit dies. Again, these come with squares, ovals, and circles. And the cool thing about this is it has stitching around the edge. So I'm going to put that around my flower. Let's see. Looks perfect. Put my cutting plate on top. Now my cutting plate um, is all scratched up. That's perfectly normal. Yours will look like this soon too. And that's perfectly fine. All right. Put it in the big shot and run it through. That crinkling sound you're hearing, perfectly normal. Nothing to be alarmed about. All right, let me set this aside. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so we've got our banner. And here we go. And see how that's stitched on the edge? All right, let me put these away before I lose them. Okay. Get rid of that. So now what we're going to do is I want to, oh, you know what? I need to cut one more thing out. That's the nice thing about the Big Shot. It's easy to move, it's portable, it's not a hassle to get it out and set it back up. I'm gonna use this piece of Mint Macaron cardstock. And I'm going to cut one more circle. I'm using the layering circle framelits. These come with regular circles and scallop circles. You'll notice that all of my uh, framelits, let me show you here, um, are like this. I have mine actually set on magnet sheets. They don't come like this. They come in an envelope, um, which is perfectly fine to keep them in the envelope. The envelopes look just like this. I just like to stick mine on the magnets because it's easier for me to um, move them around. All right, so I'm going to do this scallop circle. Again, put my lid on and crank it through. Okay, and now that should be everything we need. All right, move my big shot. Okay, and there's my scallop circle. Okay. All right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take our cute little flower and I'm using my snail adhesive, I'm going to put some snail on here and stick this onto my scallop. And then I want to add a little bit of bling. So I'm going to grab my rhinestones and I am going to add these. The current rhinestones are being discontinued, but new rhinestones are in the new catalog. I think they're just changing the packaging up. Um, so nothing to be alarmed about. The rhinestones are really fun. You get a whole bunch in a package and in different sizes, and it really adds um, a lot of sparkle. And sometimes it's just that finishing touch you need in a project. All right. Now I'm going to take a piece of Tip Top Tote cardstock. This was an eight and a half by 11 sheet of tip top tote cardstock that I've just cut down the long way. So this piece is cut at 11 inches by four and a half. And we are going to score this at five and a half. So I grab my Stampin' Trimmer out. I love this because it has a cutting blade and a scoring blade. They don't get in the way of each other either, either which is really great. So we're gonna score this at five and a half. All right. Done with that. Now I like to fold the bumpy side in. Use my bone folder. Give it a nice strong crease. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm using a scrap piece of the Succulent Garden Designer Series paper. I know this is still available, but again, it's while supplies last. You get 12 sheets, so six sheets, two of each, double-sided designer series paper. Last time I checked, this was on low inventory, so I know this is probably gonna sell out probably in the first week um, or two of May, maybe even earlier. Um, but I love this paper. It has lots of um, neat colors in it. It's got Calypso Coral, Mint Macaron, some old olive, the sweet sugar plum. 
and then tip top tote and obviously whisper white. So there's some of that Calypso curl. So I'm going to take my trimmer and I wanna cut this at two and a half by five. So I like to cut the long side first. Well, let's see, no, this I like to cut actually the short side first so that I have a bigger scrap left over. So two and a half by five inches. All right. Right here. All right, so now what I wanna do is, since this is two and a half inches, I can't use my banner triple punch because that only fits up to two inches. So I'm just going to take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut a banner myself. What I do is I just kind of, I just kind of, let's see, um, kind of see where my center is. And then I'm going to, I just kind of fold it up in half a little bit and I'm just gonna cut from the corner. There we go. And usually this piece just pops right out. trim up a little bit there we go there and I made my own banner okay easy peasy all right so here let's now glue everything down so first I'll put some adhesive on my I'm, again I'm just going to use some snail adhesive on the back of my banner this is going to go right in the center of my card now the thing with crafting is everything is not always going to be perfect I know some people want things exactly centered and all of that, and as much as I would like that in my life, it's just not gonna happen. So I just eyeball things and do my best, and I'm happy with that. Again, I say if it's not totally perfect, then people can tell it's homemade. All right, next, we're gonna work with ribbon. I have two pieces of ribbon. This is the Mint Macaron 5 8 inch mini striped ribbon, which is still available while supplies last. You get 10 yards of this. And then this is the Sweet Sugar Plum, 3 8 inch, um, and it's a combo pack. I believe it's the Oh So Succulent combo pack, but I'll have it written here um, on the bottom of the screen. And this comes with um, also some white, so you get five yards of each. And you see how that's kind of sparkly? All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of twist these over, and I'm going to just take a piece of tape. So I just fold it in half here. I'm just gonna kind of stick this one on here tape it down, stick this one on here, tape it down. It's my husband who always seems to walk in in the middle of a video. Okay, so I'm going to tape this down right on top. And I wanna trim up my ends just a little bit to make them look a little bit nicer and also to match my, I want them to match the way that the banner is going. So I'm gonna trim them up this way. And this one goes this way, and this way. All right, okay. Now, I'm gonna take one of our paper doilies. These come in a 24 pack, they're white doilies. They're called delicate doilies, and they are very delicate. So when you stick um, adhesive on them, be really careful because they're very easy to tear them. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick a little bit of adhesive. I'm gonna put that right over the top there. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take my little banner here. Some adhesive, adhesive on the back of this. I'm gonna stick that right in the center of my doily. And finally, I'm gonna take our little Happy Mother's Day banner. And I need my dimensionals. Where did those go? Right here. And I'm gonna stick, let's see, one, two. Two of those on there. Peel off the back. And stick this right here. And there you go, there's my card. Super simple and easy, and here's one I made earlier. So they're a little bit different. This one uses different designer series paper, but same, um, but same concept on both. So simple, really cute. And I like how they go this way. 
And there you have it. So now I have two cards for Mother's Day. Perfect. We've got my mom and his mom. So I'm all set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. Bye.